that tells us that, that we've got voltage going to the element. Now, we need to perform the same test again, okay? We can loosen these screws and remove the wires and check continuity of the element. I prefer the amperage test over a continuity test. So, on this case here, we've, we've got to dig a little bit for this wire because it kind of gets tucked underneath and behind that insulation. But again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our amp clamp and we're gonna run it around both of these wires. We're gonna use the exact same math again. This is again, another 4,500 watt element. And it'll tell you right on the side of the element where the wattage is. So it tells me it's 4,500 watts and, it, and, and we know we have 240 volts because we just checked that. So if you're wondering what amperage you should be looking for, We'll, we'll go over that again here. The element is 4,500 watts. We checked the voltage and the voltage uh, was 240. So you take 4,500 watts, you divide that by 240 and it gives you, the, the answer to that is 18.75. That's the amperage. So when we check our amp clamp, we're looking for 18.75. Same rules apply as the upper element. If we're getting 18 on one leg and a dramatically lower number on a different leg, then chances are that is the element that needs to be replaced. We can cover, in a different video, we can cover how to physically replace all of these pieces, but um, uh, this, this video here is more just to how to diagnose what's going on. Uh, a real quick high level overview of, of doing all of that though. Um, elements aren't overly expensive. And so by the time you drain your tank down to replace one of the elements, you may as well drain it all the way down and just go ahead and replace both of the elements. Um, that's usually a really good practice. A lot of times you'll find the lower element has failed first uh, because it does a little bit more of the heating than the upper element and there's a little bit more sediment down on the bottom. So uh, if you have to drain the tank all the way down to here to replace the lower element, you may as well go ahead and replace the upper element at the same time. Another thing to consider too is uh, 